20 years ago today. Hurricane Katrina made landfall in Louisiana and Mississippi. Breaching levees in New Orleans, Katrina is the costliest hurricane in U.S. history. And one of the deadliest, killing hundreds. Rob, Mar Rob Marciano covered the hurricane in 2005. He's in New Orleans today with a look at the city's miraculous recovery. In 2005, Hurricane Katrina barreled into the Gulf Coast with Mississippi feeling its wrath. <laughs> Lives forever changed. I'm just glad you're alive. How's everything? Now, 20 years later, Good to see right. you, Bobby. All right. We caught up with Biloxi, Mississippi restaurant owner Bobby Mahoney, who remembers Katrina vividly. I, I was like this, and so I did that. So one wave, two wave. I turned my head to look back over there, and then I come back, and the wave's in the window. In Louisiana, storm surge from Katrina breached the levees in New Orleans, creating catastrophic flooding and a historic humanitarian crisis. We all are desperate. We all are desperate. The following years were spent building a better flood protection system, including this, the world's largest pump station, which blocks storm surge from the Gulf and pumps rainwater away from the city. This is the battleground right here. This is it. This Holding is where back the that water happens. and throwing this water That's back. Yeah, no. Jesse Knoll heads the organization running this massive complex, which boasts 11 pumps. This is it. This is, which, this is what's moving the water. And they're powered by enormous engines, able to move 142,000 gallons of water per second. On the other side of the city, there's also this 26-foot-high, nearly two-mile-long surge barrier. And since 2012, New Orleans has remained mostly dry, including during 2021's Hurricane Ida. But we had seven feet of water streaming at us on the other side. Wow. So it, it, was, it was a wild event. That's a good test. It is. Still, Noel knows the challenge never ends. Do you think we've built a big enough system to withstand the 100-year storm, the 500-year storm? I think we started out with what was able to defend against the 100-year storm in 2007 to 2010, and we're continuously working to make it better. So it's a, it's a constant battle, isn't it? It is indeed. It is indeed, but it's one worth fighting. Worth fighting for sure. It does come at a cost. The entire flood protection system costs $14.5 billion to build. We do need to give a shout out to the progress we've made on the forecasting front. The National Hurricane Center has reduced its forecast error by 50 percent in the last 20 years, essentially doubling its track accuracy. And what that does, it gives emergency managers more time to give more accurate and targeted evacuation orders, in the end, saving lives. Rob Marciano, CBS News, New Orleans.